Greetings. A couple years ago, I uh, was uh, out for a walk and I was kind of discouraged, you know, I was kind of um, just kind of down in the dumps and, you know, been at this uh, Christ the King church for uh, for a while and I didn't see any results. And I was like, you know what, what's what's the point? Let's just hang it up and move on. And, and I was uh, on my way home to tell Beth that, uh, you know, it was over. I was going to quit. And I just felt a real strong urging of God uh, to uh, say, no, you can't quit. And uh, so I got thinking about, you know, I have this desire, I've had this desire for a long time for people to uh, uh, have a relationship with Jesus that is meaningful. And and then I read my Bible and I see that that's what God wants. So if God wants it and I want it, why don't I see any results? And um and so I then I thought to myself, well, the problem is, is that uh, it's got to be me. You know, I'm not good enough. I uh, and and I'm not. You know, I'm not worthy and, and and all of that. And I thought, well, that doesn't make any sense because why would God judge me for not being good enough uh, and 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 not giving results? Then I came across this great passage, a familiar one to me, in in Romans or excuse me, in Hebrews. 12, where it says, therefore, since we're surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings closely to us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith. And and I had an aha moment. Um, the cloud of witnesses he's talking about are the people that he, that he writes about in, in chapter 11. And one of those people is Samson, uh, who was anything but a good person. You know, if Samson came to your church and wanted to apply for a position, you'd say, hey, dude, you got an anger problem. You've got a, a lust problem. And not only that, you got long hair. And I realized it wasn't that I wasn't good enough. And finally, the fourth thing uh, that jumped out at me, and that is time. God is going to bless in time. And my responsibility and your responsibility is simply to focus on Jesus, the author and finish of our faith, keep on persevering, keep on running with endurance the race that's set before us. And um, that was really a, an aha moment. I realized that my responsibility is simply to be faithful and, and do the best I can to be what God wants me to be. And ever since then, I've, I don't get discouraged anymore. I, I just have confidence that God in time will bless uh, the fruit of our labors uh, in his timing. Uh, so until next time, see ya.